What is up, Nation? Noah here back again today, and in this video is a very much anticipated ringside collectibles unboxing. So in this box is seven WWE Elite figures that I ordered off their New Year sale. Not everything was from the sale. I believe two items weren't from the sale and the rest of them were on sale uh but i ordered this back on december 23rd unfortunately well plus it was the holidays but unfortunately i think like a bunch of people and their staff got COVID. luckily it seems like everybody's okay and they're back to doing what they do thank you ringside collectibles for shipping out this order and especially delivering it or not that you delivered it but it was also pretty cool that it got delivered today because uh the day that i'm filming this is actually my 23rd birthday and i went out toy hunting today the toy store or not the toy stores but the stores had nothing no wwe elites no aws no legends figures that i was looking for no rumble elites nothing so it was, a ni it was nice to come home to a nice uh ringside collectibles unboxing today since the stores failed me so thank you ringside very much uh looking forward to opening up this box in a moment so make sure you like comment and subscribe uh definitely turn those notifications on so you never miss a video never miss a live stream never miss a, a podcast here on the channel i almost said upload and uh do be sure to go follow me over on instagram at noah nation vlogs and without further ado guys ringside collectibles unboxing new year sale let's get in to this video <laughs> Alright, you're not going to waste any more time. Like I said, seven WWE Elite figures from the New Year's sale in this Ringside Collectibles box. So I don't know what's going to come out first, but uh, I'm pretty excited, man. These are a good chunk of figures that uh, some of them are pretty new. Some of them have been out for a couple of months, uh, but it's all stuff that I just hadn't uh, knocked off my, my list that I needed yet. You know, I was, wasn't buying as many, you know, specifically... WWE figures. I was making sure I stayed up with anything, stayed up to date with anything AW that I needed. But uh, I kind of took a backseat on some of the WWE figures for like a month or two because I went to Disney and stuff like that. And I just, you know, obviously need money for a Disney trip. So I wasn't trying to waste it all on ringside collectibles. But, uh, you know, kind of filled some holes in the collection today. So I'm real excited. There are some awesome figures in here. I'm, oh man, I'm pumped opening up this box already. So we're obviously, we're not going to be opening up any of these uh, figures today and letting them breathe. I'm just going to take them all out of the ringside box. And uh, probably I'm thinking about doing a live stream very soon here in the channel where we just hang out and open up some of these figures. But I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just kick it off with a very heavy hitter. And this one was a figure that I've been looking at for months and I'm super happy to finally have it. It is Elite Series 89 Drew McIntyre. This has got to be probably Drew McIntyre's best figure ever. Uh, this is literally so on point. The gear is awesome. I'm not a big, a huge fan of him coming out with the, the kilt and the sword every week on WWE television. I think he's badass enough that he can pull it off and still be cool. Um, in my opinion, it should be saved for like a WrestleMania special pay-per-view entrance. But nonetheless, um, even with all that in here, it still looks awesome. I mean, I know it's hard to see the head scan like this, but I think the head scan is just freaking fire. They got the chest hair down. The size is perfect. Like literally everything about this McIntyre, I honestly believe it is the best Drew McIntyre figure that has ever been, ever, uh, action figure excuse me ever been released could not get that sentence out but yeah it's from elite series 89 um as, lo as well as uh dominic mysterio bobby lashley damian priest which i still need to get uh sergeant slaughter and nia jack so there you go elite 89 drew mcintyre i'll do uh you know an overhaul um once we get through everything in this box but next up also coming from elite 89 another figure that i was looking forward to getting and that is bobby lashley now bobby lashley comes originally from the era I grew up on, the Ruthless Aggression era. So I've always been a big Bobby Lashley fan. And, you know, I needed this figure because this is basically Bobby Lashley at his height, at his peak. I know he's like 45, 46, but you can never tell looking at him, man. He's in amazing shape. This is obviously coming from last year when he was the WWE champion. And uh, I freaking love this figure. I think it's sick. I think he looks awesome. Probably can make an argument that this is, this is one of his best figures ever released as well. Um, and I'm very happy to get it. I actually got rid of my not what is the elite i don't know the series but it came out like 2019 like it was a, a newer it was like bobby lashley's first elite i think uh since coming back i actually got rid of that one because i just didn't really feel the need to had it, have it especially since i knew i wanted to get this so finally happy to have this in the collection the wwe champion uh elite 89 bobby lashley there for you coming out next man we got some freaking heavy hitters in here man uh, oh my god, I'm just moving some of this paper. I'm seeing some stuff. This is insane. I forgot about some of the stuff that was in here. Moving on next, we're going to go to Elite Series 90. And this is the WrestleMania 36 Randy Orton in that beautiful white and red gear, which was a nice, or excuse me, WrestleMania 37 Randy Orton. I said 36. Uh, very nice gear. It was nice to see Randy Orton mix up the, uh, the gear since he's normally... Uh, a dark color guy so the white and red last year was really cool at mania and immediately i remember seeing it and i was like that's got to be an elite figure so i'm happy they made it into a elite figure uh not necessarily a match 
from Randy Orton's career that I'll remember, you know, the, the, the feud with the, the Fiend last year. However, Randy Orton, one of my uh, top 10 all-time favorite wrestlers, so Randy Orton in the white and red from Mania 37. Had to have it, and uh, I'm hoping they make a WrestleMania 37 Edge, because it was kind of cool that Orton and Edge both uh, rocked uh, predominantly white with red and, you know, black details in their uh, WrestleMania gear that, that um, excuse me, last year. I have a feeling that they might have did that on purpose, you know, being those two OG uh, guys who, uh, you know, obviously have a lot of history with each other. So, Randy Orton, Elite 90, very, very cool. Next up, we're going to be jumping back to Elite Series. Now, this one is coming from Elite Series 88, and that is Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. So, MVP's first Elite figure back um, in the WWE, or just figure in general, since, uh, what, 2011? I think he had, he probably had some basics, but uh, I know he had one Elite in Series series 1, and then, um, I don't know, sometime a few series later, he had another Elite. But MVP, man, first figure in all these years. Very happy to have this. Another guy who was a part of the uh, era I grew up on, uh, Ruthless Aggression, so I definitely wanted to get this first figure. And I'm interested in actually picking up that basic that just went in stock today, the day I'm filming this. Um, where he's in uh, the you know the suit and stuff since that's predominantly what we see him as uh you know as a manager not necessarily a wrestler but this is i think more based off of his uh i don't want to say royal rumble uh come up or come back i should say last year but just some of the uh you know in-ring stuff from 2020 i don't know what exact event this is from it would have been sick if they made i believe it was like a black panther gear uh if i'm not mistaken from the royal rumble 2020 but this is still cool uh happy to have a, a brand new mvp in the collection looking forward to displaying this right next to the Bobby Lashley so awesome stuff there three more figures to go now this next one is actually another elite obviously uh but this one is coming from the elite top picks I guess top picks 2022 I want to say I think yeah because I believe 2023 is just one in stock today uh, it's weird how early they do some of the lines with the years I don't get it but nonetheless we have top picks Jeff Hardy so this is a really freaking cool Jeff Hardy with the uh, blue and yellow face paint. I like it a lot, and I like the gear, uh, obviously, as well, that goes along with it. Jeff Hardy, one of my top five favorites. Well, the Hardy Boys, I count him as one in my top five favorites, but Jeff Hardy, I got a ton of his elite figures. Uh, not all of them, but a good chunk of them, and uh, this is one of the ones that I've been looking at for a while because I really like this uh, color combo. Uh, obviously, it comes with a nice T-shirt as well. I'll probably won't be displaying it with that. I just like it as is, but it's still very cool. I don't know the exact event this is coming from. I believe it just looks like it's coming from an episode of Raw. Uh, during the Thunderdome era, but still very, very nice. Uh, happy to have one of my another one of my favorite guys, Jeff Hardy, back in the collection with uh, this Elite Top Picks. So as you guys can see, everybody here is, uh, even though some of them are still active, a lot of guys from the Ruthless Aggression era, even Drew McIntyre started his uh, WWE career in 09. I was a big Drew McIntyre guy during his, uh, his early run when nobody else was, so I'll always uh, tout that. But we have two more figures to go here. I got to save one of these for last because I think between these two, brand new elite figures i think i do like one more than the other but they're so sick but we'll start with this one so this is coming from elite series 91 these actually went in stock on ringside the day i made this new year sale purchase so here we go first things first it is hulk hogan from elite 91 this is coming from SummerSlam 2005 versus Shawn michaels which i freaking love again ruthless aggression right in the veins there for you but absolutely love this hogan i love this uh this error of Hulk Hogan. Obviously, it's only from that, you know, it's basically probably the same thing. I'm sure if you went back and looked, they might be a little different in the gears, but this is technically SummerSlam 05. You could probably pass it off for SummerSlam 06 as well versus Randy Orton. So, uh, works best for both of them. And uh, this is the first uh, SummerSlam, actually, SummerSlam 2005 that I actually watched as a wrestling fan. So, I have some good nostalgia for, you know, SummerSlam 2005. So, really happy to have this Hogan. I really want them to make a 2002 era Hogan. Uh, which I know some people say, well, this is basically the same thing, but it, there's definitely differences that you can make and uh, make a distinct Hulk Hogan from 2002, give him the undisputed title, give him the WWE Tag Team Championship. I think that'd be awesome, but super hyped up on this Hulk Hogan. Uh, again, man, SummerSlam 05, got some great nostalgia for that show. So definitely happy to have that Hogan. So one more left in here. Let me go ahead and move the box off to the side. So also coming from Elite 91, it is none other than Rob Van Dam in the Tiger Stripes, RVD's first Elite figure since I don't even know when that series was, when he got his uh, other only Elite figure, but it was what, you know, 2013, 2014, something like that. So happy to finally have a new RVD in the collection. Love this Tiger Stripe attire. Um, you know, a lot of people associate this gear with uh, ECW, I believe it was it Guilty as Charged? Um, I forget, but 
like a lot of people um associate excuse me with ecw stuff and uh you know early wwf invasion you know moments but i associate this tiger stripe uh for me this tiger stripe gear i always think uh, and this is probably like the least thing that people think about when they think about this gear. But I always associate it with King of the Ring 2002 versus Chris Jericho versus Brock Lesnar. Because uh, I think that's just one of my early memories of RVD is watching that show. Because when I got into wrestling, I got that show on DVD. So uh, I just have fond memories of that when I think of this Tiger Stripe attire. But obviously he wore it, you know, in ECW and early uh, WWF run as well. But I love this RVD, man. Uh, I think it's freaking sick. One of my favorite RVD gears ever. Um, and now that they're doing, now that RVD is kind of back in the WWE family if you will through the hall of fame and stuff i really hope they keep giving up some rvd figures man i want ecw uh one night stand 06 i want wrestlemania 22 i want anything honestly rvd's got so many great singlets um from over the years that you can pump out i don't care if they're elites preferably elites but you know give us some basics i don't care i'll pick them up because they're rvd the whole damn show what do they say on the back uh stealing the show at raw smackdown or ecw everything is cool when you're Rob Van Dam. So awesome freaking haul, man. Seven elite figures. Let me run it down for you one more time. So elite series 89, Drew McIntyre. We have elite series 90, Randy Orton. Elite series 89, Bobby Lashley. We got elite series 91, Hulk Hogan. We got elite top picks, Jeff Hardy. We got Elite 88 MVP, and last but not least, as I just showed you guys, Elite 91 RVD. So freaking awesome haul, man, from Ringside Collectibles. Always love ordering my figures from them because, like I said at the beginning of this video, I go to stores, I try to do a toy hunt. They ain't got nothing I want, which is why I just rely on Ringside Collectibles, man. Uh, I'd rather pay the little bit of extra and save myself the headache, save myself the time, and support ringside so that's why you know yeah i got you guys always see me unboxing wv and AEW figures from ringside because they're just my go-to man uh, i can always rely on them so awesome haul today uh knocked a lot of figures that i've been wanting to check off my wv checklist for a while got a couple more to go i'm still on the hunt for uh, some of the legends figures that are hitting stores right now yokozuna royal rumble elite as well and some other things uh, but, you know, we'll get there one thing at a time. We'll start knocking some of these things that I was missing off the list. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll definitely be making a live stream, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking, excuse me, probably sometime in the coming week. Uh, just to hang out and unbox these figures. More of a chill live stream. And I think it'll be fun. So, stay tuned for that. I don't know when that's going to be, but stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn those notifications on. That way, you know when that stream's going to go down. And you don't miss out on any of the content. Go follow me on Instagram as well. At Vlogs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.